be safe, folks. My name is Franklin D. Dingpot. Now, let me get this. Franklin D. Dingpot. See, I was born, I was born in the Depression. I guess half the kid in Tennessee was named Franklin D. on kind of Roosevelt, you know. Well, anyhow, I do want to tell you a little something about myself. I was born in this place called Clinton, Tennessee. It's a little old town, see. Well, it sits on the river bank of Clinch River. Well, the famous North Dam, you know, is part of the Clinch River. Well, anyhow, to tell you a little something about myself, I was one of those kids that was scared to death. I was scared of my own shadow, see. Well, one time I was downtown, I sold newspapers right on the street. Right on the street. Well, after I sold all my papers, they were a good, scary movie. Playing down at the old Ritz Theater. Well, anyhow, this movie was Frankenstein Meets Werewolf, see. Well, I went and seen that movie, and I was scared, buddy. It was one of these old movies that was scary, you know. Well, anyhow, when I got through watching that movie, I come out, and it was almost dark, see. When I was scared, I was scared half to death. But you know, when you're walking up the street at night time, and, and you, you hear a little noise behind you, you always look around and see if anybody's following you. Well, I got almost home, and I knew I was in trouble because I didn't tell nobody I was going to see this movie. Well, anyhow, this old lady stopped me. She said, Hey, hey there, Dean Pod. Did you didn't happen to see uh, so-and-so? I don't remember what his name was. He was her brother-in-law, see. He owned a restaurant downtown called the Brown Derby. We'd go in there, you know, at that time play pinball machine on that school. We'd play pinball machine. But I didn't stop there that night, but it was open when I come by. But I got on up there, and she said, well, was it, did you see him? I said, no, no, I didn't see him. She said, well, said he ought to be home by now. I said, he ought to be here. Well, anyhow, I got, I started going up the road. She said, well, will you walk back downtown with me? I said, well, I got to get home. She said, well, please walk down there with me, you know. Oh, well, I wanted to help her out a little bit. So I went back downtown. And it, was, it was dark by then, anyhow. And the place was closed up. She said, well, look in the window. I said, you look in that window and see if you see him landing on the floor. Well, boy, this is, this is just some laying on the floor dead. You know, I was scared already. Well, anyhow, anyhow, I looked in the window. And I said, no, I don't see nobody. She said, well, it says, let's go out through that little old alley going out through there. She said, go look at, go down and look at that window at the, in the alley. So I went in and I looked down. I said, I don't see nobody. She said, well, okay. So we came on back home. It was dark by then, buddy. And he was sitting there on the front porch just like he should have been, you know. Well, anyhow, I got home. I was a sneaking in. Mom and Dad and all the other kids done gone to sleep. Well, I thought I would sneak by, but now, uh oh, Dad, he was awaiting. He was awaiting on me. He said, where you been, boy? Where you been? I said, well, I tried to explain to him. I, I went to see that movie. And I said, tell him about this lady stopping me. She want me to go back downtown with her. And I said, it took her too much time up. He said, well, now I'm going to tell you something. If you do pull that stunt one more time, you're going to get your tail busted. You hear me? Now, you get in that bed. So, well, I was glad I got out of that, you know. So I, I went in on in there and jumped in the bed and everybody asleep. So anyhow, anyhow, I heard Mom and Dad in there talking. They whispering like, you know. I could hear them in her bedroom just two doors down from ours. And, I heard Mama asking Daddy, do you see him? Do you see me over out there? I said, oh, what's going on? And I heard said, no, says, but I believe that's an old man joined up here on the hill, drunk. You know, drunk. And uh, anyhow, they said, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Laying out there in that ditch. See him across the, see him across the road? He's laying in that ditch. And at that time, my brother, Robert, he, 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 he rolled over and he hit the wall, see? Made a lot of noise. And that scared me, buddy, and I about three skipped and a hop and a jump, and I was right in the middle of mom and dad's bed. I was right in the middle of her bed. They said, what in the world are you doing? I said, he ain't not turning that dish dead. He's under my bed. He said, you get out of here right now. I see you, folks. That's one of my times I was scared. Bye.